when you stop eating, several physiological changes occur in your body. The timeline and effects can vary depending on factors such as your overall health, metabolism, and hydration levels. Here's a general overview of what happens when you stop eating based on scientific understanding. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about what happens when you stop eating science-based. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Initial hours today's blood sugar regulation. After you stop eating, your body's primary source of energy switches from the glucose in your bloodstream to stored glycogen in the liver and muscles. Insulin levels. Insulin, a hormone that helps regulate blood sugar, decreases as there is less need to transport glucose into cells. Energy depletion. Your body starts using glycogen stores for energy. After about 24 hours without food, these glycogen stores are largely depleted. Days to a few weeks. Ketosis. In the absence of glucose, the body starts breaking down fat stores into fatty acids and ketone bodies. This metabolic state is called ketosis and is an alternative energy source to glucose. Muscle breakdown. If the fast continues, the body may start breaking down muscle proteins for energy, especially if the fast is prolonged and protein intake is insufficient. Metabolic adaptation. Your metabolism slows down to conserve energy, which can lead to a decrease in overall energy expenditure. Electrolyte imbalance. Extended fasting without proper hydration and electrolyte intake can lead to imbalances affecting heart, muscle, and nerve function beyond a few weeks. Nutrient deficiencies. Extended fasting can lead to severe nutrient deficiencies, including vitamins, minerals, and essential amino acids, which are necessary for various bodily functions. Organ damage. Prolonged starvation can lead to damage to vital organs due to the body's attempts to maintain energy levels. This can affect the heart, liver, kidneys, and other systems. Immune system suppression. The immune system weakens, making the body more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Mental and emotional effects. Prolonged starvation can lead to cognitive impairments, mood disturbances, and emotional instability. Metabolic changes. When you stop eating, your body transitions from relying on glucose from food to using stored energy sources. In the first few hours of fasting, your body uses up readily available glucose from the bloodstream and liver glycogen. After approximately 24 hours, glycogen stores are largely depleted and the body turns to alternative sources for energy. During this phase, the liver starts producing ketone bodies through ketogenesis. Ketones are produced from the breakdown of fatty acids in the liver. These ketone bodies serve as an important energy source for the brain and other tissues, sparing the need for glucose. This metabolic state is known as ketosis. Muscle loss and protein breakdown. To maintain glucose levels, the body may break down muscle proteins through gluconeogenesis. This is a process where amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, are converted into glucose. Muscle breakdown is more likely to occur in cases of prolonged fasting, especially if protein intake is insufficient during refeeding periods. Hormonal changes. Hormones play a crucial role in regulating metabolism and appetite during fasting. Insulin, as glucose intake drops, insulin levels decrease. This allows the body to utilize stored energy sources as insulin's primary role is to facilitate glucose uptake into cells. Ghrelin. Ghrelin levels rise during fasting, signaling hunger to the brain and increasing appetite. Leptin. Leptin levels decrease with reduced calorie intake. Leptin is responsible for signaling satiety to the brain, so lower levels can lead to increased hunger and reduced feelings of fullness. Cortisol. Cortisol levels can increase during fasting due to the body's stress response. Elevated cortisol levels can lead to muscle breakdown and other metabolic effects. Nutrient deficiencies and organ damage. As fasting continues, the body's stores of essential nutrients such as vitamins, minerals, and electrolytes become depleted. This can lead to a range of health issues, including vitamin and mineral deficiencies, deficiencies in vitamins like vitamin C, vitamin D, 
and minerals like potassium and magnesium can lead to impaired immune function, bone health, and heart function. Electrolyte imbalances, prolonged fasting without proper electrolyte intake can lead to imbalances in sodium, potassium, and other electrolytes, affecting heart rhythm and muscle function. Organ damage, the body starts breaking down tissues, including muscle and organ tissues, to extract vital nutrients. This process can lead to organ damage and dysfunction. Immune system suppression. A lack of nutrients can compromise the immune system's ability to function effectively. Immune cells require nutrients like vitamin C, vitamin D, and zinc to function properly. A weakened immune system makes the body more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Mental and emotional effects. Fasting can also have significant effects on mental and emotional well-being. Cognitive impairments, prolonged fasting can lead to difficulties with concentration, memory, and overall cognitive function. Mood disturbances, changes in hormone levels, and nutrient deficiencies can contribute to mood swings, irritability, and even depression. Refeeding syndrome. When you resume eating after a prolonged fast, there is a risk of refeeding syndrome. This occurs when the body is suddenly supplied with a large amount of nutrients, leading to shifts in fluid and electrolyte balance. This can result in heart problems, neurological issues, and even death if not managed properly. In summary, the effects of stopping eating for extended periods are complex and can have profound consequences on various systems in the body. Prolonged fasting should only be undertaken with careful medical supervision, attention to proper nutrition, and consideration of individual health conditions. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.